Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the background of your PowerPoint 2010 slides to be any background that you like. Um, so we're going to start by opening up a blank presentation and <clears throat> it's going to go ahead and give you just that plain white background. So you have a couple options at this point. You have an option to click on design and select from any of the themes that are given here. And if you want to see all of the themes, you would click on that down arrow here. That's going to pull up all of the default themes. Now, a theme is different than a background because it also decides the color scheme that complements that background. So as you can see um, in these different themes, um, the colors are being decided for you. And that works for people that just kind of want that packaged look. Um, for some people, some of us though, we want to go beyond the themes because we've kind of been there, done that with the themes. And so um, at this point, what I want to show you how to do is go to the web and to search out um, some PowerPoint background images that you can use. So all you would do is type in a Google search bar and I would go to Google Images. I would uh, type in um, PowerPoint backgrounds. So you can see there's already a lot to choose from. We can go to PowerPoint backgrounds and you're going to see tons and tons of options. Now, as you know, you do need to cite your source. You want to honor the uh, artist that created these. So let's say that I've decided, um, I think this one looks pretty cute. No, I don't really want that one. That one's um, South Park, so it might not be appropriate for school. But let's go with something a little bit more fun and spring-like. So if this is the one you end up liking, you would simply right-click on it, and you would save the image to your computer. Um, so what I have is on my desktop, I have a folder and I title my folder Desktop Images. And from there, I can create a new folder for PowerPoint and open up that PowerPoint folder and start saving all my background images. And notice it's going to save as a JPEG, which is, a, which is an image file, which is great. So you want to click Save. It's going to download, and now I can go ahead and minimize the web. And now I'm back on my slides. So still under the design tab, you're going to go ahead and click background styles and then click format background. Now you're going to have some options which you may or may not even know exist. So you have a solid fill, which means this color that you select right here will solidly fill the background. And as you can see, I changed different colors. I can see what it looks like on this slide right there. There's a gradient fill and you can control how, how uh, extreme that gradient is. You can change the direction of the gradient, all sorts of fun stuff. But you want to click on picture or texture fill. And here's where you're going to insert the picture file. So I'm going to go to PowerPoint. I'm going to go to background one. And if I love the way it looks, which I do, I'm going to go ahead and click apply to all. And that means that anytime I start a new slide within this particular presentation, it's going to be set on that background. So as I click and open up a new slides, as you can see, the layout's changing from a title layout to a, a title with body layout. And perhaps I wanted to change this to a comparison layout. And so you can see that the background's consistent. And that's how you do it. I do want to remind you, um, anytime we take images from the web to honor the sources that we are getting them from. We want to go ahead and copy the image URL, which is going to give us the web address that that image came from. And on the PowerPoint itself, I always recommend creating a slide. And I keep this at the very end. And I title this my image credits. And I'll go ahead and call this my background image and then I'll just go ahead and paste that link and I'm just going to really quickly change the background of this text box so that 
I can see the text a little easier over that background. And then I'm going to change the font from 32 to 14 because I'm less interested in you guys reading this as I present, but it's just a matter of honoring the sources at the end. Uh, so anytime you grab an image from the web, just make sure to record and give credit to the artist. Thanks.